What is going on guys? This is your main man Ben here with another cycling reviews and today is going to be a very important day because my wife is upgrading her saddles off her titanium bicycle that came with the factory which is Linsky but it's about time for her to upgrade that saddle so after around 700 miles she is dedicated now to you know going to get a little bit more comfort since she's starting to ride more and more uh, miles. In fact, she just finished a half century mile, like 64 miles, two, three weeks ago. And we're about to do one tomorrow. And yeah, she's about to test this saddle and uh, we'll find out. So right off the box, we got this Brooks saddle. I know, it's the conventional Brooks one, but uh, trust me, this is not the regular one. Um, I think this is better. This is her preference, so we're going to unbox it, install it, and test it according to my wife, and uh, in fact, she will be part of this review. Check this out. So this is what we're dealing with is the Brooks B66 with the infamous two springs on the back. Okay, so as far as I know, I haven't owned any Brooks yet, but my wife is a previous, no, she still has that uh, rack bag from Brooks for her saddle. And it's a very nice leather, man, I'll tell you that. But as far as I know, this is the B17 without the springs. So they added the springs on this one and it is exactly look like the B-17. It sounds like a war plane. For some reason it does. But this is much more heavier obviously because of the two big springs. You can tell those springs are no joke. They, I keep on telling my wife this could probably carry your entire family and it will not bend. But. You can see that, man. That spring right there probably would be best if uh, I let her do the reviewing. So what we do is, what I do is unbox, install her stuff on her bicycle, maintain it, and making sure that it runs properly. That's the advantage of having a handy mechanical husband that is dedicated to fix your own bicycle wife but it's my partner i'm the wingman she's the main sprinter you know we'll take care of that we'll take care of that but right out of the bat what i notice is comes with this nice i don't have to do that why do i do that this is very very important guys this you have to put it in the dressing to the entire saddle so that it will be in tip-top shape and you don't want to miss that out especially before using it so we got this uh, nice envelope with the manual we're gonna follow it since this is made of pure leather Le Love leather smell, man. Although the one that came with Alinsky, the Adventure Edition, is still leather. I'll show you later outside, but this is just the thickness of the leather. My God, look at this. So I really don't need to go up. Uh, I want to apply it here in the studio since I got a better table. I got a better leverage. And this thick one. 
of <sighs> septi. Okay, so what you want to do? Oh man, look at this. Ooh, it's made in England. It is. Even the cardboard is so thick. Okay, right off the bat, guys. Like what I said a while ago. <laughs> look at this. All this thickness are leather. There's no other meat inside. There's no other foam. You can actually see some leather stuff in there. Look at that, like uh, embedded stuff in there. That is all leather. Brooks, made in England. The technical specs of the Brooks B66 has the length of 260 width of 205 and the height of 100 millimeters. Weight is 1050 grams. Just a little shy of the 1.8 pounds that we uh, measured since 1050 grams equals 2.3 pounds. Features has durable five millimeter vegetable tan leather, chrome springs and frame assembly, double rail system for traditional seat clamps, tubular steel rivets, distinctive side stamp which has the iconic Brooks backplate as well. Mainly ideal for casual touring, upright cycling in the city and classic bicycles look. But given its titanium, it fits just right in that category. Sweet spot. So what we got here is a piece of napkin. Um, basically, let me clear this out real quick. So we're gonna apply the first application compound for leather. So this is leather dressing that came with Brooks. It's so nice, a manufacturer that really cares about their product includes stuff like this. Since it's pure leather, you wanna put that first compound here, man. This is kind of thick. To be honest, it smells like Vicks. If you're not familiar with Vicks, I don't know. Eucalyptus, Vapor Rub. You can see a different color that is transpiring on this thing prior of you rubbing it. Maybe I should show it to you real quick. So this part, I already put some, and this part doesn't have it. So you see that spank, that shine. Look. to put it evenly as much as you can so that, you know, you take care of the leather. You take care of the leather, it'll take care of you. It should stay with you for the longest time. I own a lot of different leathers. Not a, not a Brooks leather, but my leathers last forever, man. So it looks like this compound is a bit, a lot of it. Um, so what we do is we spread it evenly and let it sit for a little bit, maybe a good amount of time. I would say 30 minutes to an hour, then we wipe it. You can save a little bit more of these since the pouch came with it, comes with like a little bit more than it's supposed to. Maybe you can add some later on for maintenance and all that stuff, but Add it evenly. Oh man, it's looking really fine. Look at this side. And this side doesn't have it yet. Wow. I just don't want an extra smear in it, so that's why I put it some here in the side. You know, but look at this, man. Wow. If you're familiar with lechon, it almost looks like a lechon skin. I don't eat pork. Well, I gotta confess, for the past two years, three years, I haven't been eating pork. But lately, a lot of people are tantalizing me of eating some, so I indulge a little bit. But I have my reasons why not to eat it. But this definitely looks like a lechon skin. It's Filipino in you. Hook up, Filipino friends. Explain it to them what lechon is. Yeah. But I think we're going to let it sit and uh, we'll install it outside. 
and we'll find out. Yo, so check this out. We're about to install the Brook Saddle. Um, I had it sit for like two hours on the wax and it's pretty shiny now. Now, mind you, we're gonna take this out. Once again, coming from Linsky. It's a leather in, I must say, 1.7 pounds just for the weight of this Brook Saddle. This is mad heavy. I mean, this can be a weapon. But comfort versus weight, we don't race, so my wife's gonna find out. Let's install it. So we have removed the Linsky saddle, and uh, I don't know, this weighs like probably, I don't know, man, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 pounds. And given this one is 1.7, if you race, if you uh, really are conscious of weight, this is not for you. I'm telling you, this is a weapon of mass destruction versus you know performance. Difference, key differences, guys. It's crazy, it's crazy. Just saying. It's too bad though. Uh, raining so wife cannot test this ride but quick note I have learned my lessons fiber grip especially a titanium bike in a seat post this will stop the creaking get it put it properly apply it you should be good so I already did it to the bolt and uh, to the rails so I'm just gonna have to call wifey and measure it tighten it up that's how it looks like. Initial look. And by the way, she has that Brook Saddle uh, bag. So in the past, we just put it in here. You can see it in the past video. We just hang it by this side. Right now, it's built in so she can put it behind here. has a pain in the butt to put in, so good luck. We made it happen though. Hey, my sister. That was good penetration. <laughs> Master penetrator. Yeah! Do you like it? I love it. I was impressed. Very impressive. First try, it's very impressive. It's not even broken in. How much more if it's good after 500 miles? So, so we can lock it? Lock it, I think. Okay. So we have tested this out this weekend and we have clocked in 40 miles on the saddle. Overall, she is satisfied as of yet and we will find out on the actual gravel riding soon but right now guys it is looking very very promising brooks saddle b66